Hey beauties! So welcome back to the beauty room. So I got an interesting video today and I know it's been a while since I've done a whole full length video because I know I've been doing a lot of shorts, especially resharing some of the TikTok videos on here. But I want to say it's a little project going on because as an avid makeup lover, the pile <laughs> of makeup have been growing and growing and growing. So there's a lot of old products mixed in with the new products. So what better time than the spring to do a little decluttering. This is just a little bit of what's going on. It's not an empties video, it's a decluttering video because I've been going through my stuff, <laughs> sections by sections, pulling out what's good, like not pulling it out, but like what's still good, what's still in rotation, what's old, take out the old, and then throw it out in the trash. So we have a little bit of a start. So let's, let me show you beauties what I've been going through and then what I've decided to throw out because it's a lot. So I'll be seeing you beauties in a little bit. So it's time to clean up this whole beauty space, beauty room starting off with my vanity it seems a little bit overcrowded lately because i've been playing around testing around like trying new and different things and it's starting to seem a little bit overcrowded with a lot of stuff that's pretty much done and finished or expired and i just need to clean that all out because it's a little bit crowded now so I know I've been doing empty videos and I've been showing you what I've been using and stuff, but this time it's a time for a serious declutter because I need to make space. I need to keep things organized and keep it simple. And there's definitely a lot of things I need to get rid of. So let's do that. So as you can see, my drawers are overpacked. These are the Alex Ikea drawers and I have two sets. Well, not two sets. I have a set of two. <laughs> But they have a couple of things that I have been using a lot. And then I have stuff that I haven't been touching. So I need to go through all these drawers along with my little space for my hair products and everything else. See what works, what doesn't work. And just keep things organized because I can't even open this look. It's stuck. And that's not good. <laughs> but I did try to organize a couple of things on this side with this Alex drawer because it's, it's newer. And I did put a lot of the new stuff in there, but as you can see, it's not like completely organized. So I just need to do that. I need to have better organization because I just feel like it's all over the place. And I really, really need to get to do that real soon because as you can see, everything is full. It's jam-packed. Stuff that's new, stuff that's not new. There needs to be better organization. See? It's almost coming out the drawer. So let's get to it. So it's definitely time to declutter because there's a lot of old products that I haven't touched in a while. There are like views, as you can see as with these L'Oreal hair products. I got these a long time ago. I don't know why I never got rid of them or even finished them because as you can see, there is a little bit of product there and a little bit of product here. So it's been a long time since these have been out. They are definitely discontinued products. And uh, I think it's time they, they go. Because there's so much stuff in here that if I'm not using it and it's been so old already and so long, might as well take it all out. So let me show you a couple other products that are going to be heading out too. That have also been opened, haven't been used in a while. So it's time to get rid of them. So let me show you. All right, as you can see here, we have some Glow Recipe products, specifically the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist and the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. These were part of like a, a pack from the holidays like a while ago. I did use them for a bit, but again, since I've been wanting to try different products, do other stuff, or the usual, you buy more stuff that you probably don't need and you end up using those and forget all about the old products. So, as you can see, the moisturizer is up to here, and that's pretty much where I left it. The mist, again, it's low, because it's kind of where I left it as well. And 
it doesn't look right either. So that is probably pretty much expired. So it's going to be going out because why would you want to be putting expired product on your face? So these two are definitely heading out. Garbage. So let me show you a couple more that I found that I'm definitely going to get rid of. All right, so here we have another e.l.f. matte blotting mist. This was released like what, 2017, 2018? If I am wrong, somebody mentioned it down in the pro in the comments for me. Well, I was to say products. Mentioned in the comments, but yeah, this is where I pretty much left it. The thing with the matte one, it does build up underneath when you don't touch it, and it's definitely been a while. I remember I bought a lot of the stuff in this collection, but I never really finished it once again because once you try a couple different products, sometimes you forget things exist because of the clutter. So this is one. I remember this in the, there was another spray. I think that one also has to go out because I think it's also at the same pace where this one's at right now too. So back to hair products, I found this old bottle of LA Lux gel. If you're on my age group, then you know about these scrunched up curls and how much gel used to go into the hair to do that. So this is pretty much really old. I don't know why it's still around. It's gonna be going to the trash. That's what's left. And I haven't used hair gel in ages. So say adios. And <laughs> all these flashbacks coming back to mind about the scrunch up curls. So much gel in my hair to do a ponytail. Oh my gosh, let's just move on. So next on the list is this old Skin Tumet, um shaving gel. It's pretty much empty. But the can's still around, so it's going to not to trash. I used to use these a lot. I've been using different products now when I shave my legs. But there's another skin to me one that I did buy recently, so yeah. So now we have some EOS balls. Some of these are finished. Some of them still have a little bit of product in it. But these are super old, and let's be honest. We all bought them as part of the trend many, many years ago when they came out. But I don't feel like they do anything for my lips, to be honest. And I used to collect them because I thought they were cute. <laughs> but they don't do anything for me, honestly. They really don't. So, I've, I don't know why I've kept them around for so long. But, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. But that's all I have for EOS balls. And then, we also have some lip scrubs, another EOS ball, and then some lip balm from Ulta. I tried the lip balm from Ulta. I was not too excited about it. EOS ball, again, never did anything for me, but these Jeffree Star scrubs, I did like them when I had them. I don't, I haven't bought any of those in a while because I've tried different scrubs now, but these are other lip products that just pretty much are going to go because they're very, very old. And here are some skin products. I had these Dermalogica products and this proactive thing for a long time, so I remember I got the Dermalogica ones at a event for the Ulta New York City store when it first opened up. I started using them and then I don't know why I stopped. And these are very expensive, so why did I stop? It's the question I'm asking myself. And then Proactive, I forget why I stopped midway through, but I, I didn't see any difference, so I think that's why I stopped using it. But let's continue. And then here are some Central Pay tanning products. I remember attempting to use one one time and I haven't gone back because it's just like too much of a process for me and then I just never went back or because I just completely forgot. I remember about the marshmallow one, which is the pink one, to try it out. And then the blue one was gratis again, one time only, and I never went back and I just they I will give you a heads up, Central Pay products do expire very quickly if you do not use them within the time span. Or after like immediately after opening it because they, they do expire very quickly I have noticed it with these products so let's move on and then here are some face scrubs obviously I face scrubs we all have our different opinions on them but I stopped using them a long long time ago and I don't know why again I did not throw them out and as you can see there's an elf spray like the one I mentioned up on top of the video but the Kylie skin, I've, I'm, 
not too big of a fan of the scrub along with the St. Ives. I used to love the St. Ives scrubs when I was younger, but not anymore for obvious reasons. And the Kylie skin, it's just a lot of hit and miss with that brand for me. There's very little products I do like. But the Elf Spray, that was the other one. This is the Dewy Mist. The other one was the Matte Mist. So let's keep going. And here are some Redken uh, products. You know, some color extend bonders. You know, if you had light hair, this is stuff that usually goes on in the salon when you try to bleach your hair. But they don't make these anymore. I found them. I'm just getting rid of them because obviously I don't need it anymore. So they've been there for a long time. So out they go. And then here are some body care products, mostly sunblock and a body wash. The old says sunblock, the one on the left, the 50 SPF. I did try that once when I was at the beach. It comes out purple. You have to be very careful with it. Otherwise, you end up looking like Thanos upon application. But it wasn't necessarily my favorite sunscreen. The spray one is right next to it. It was a lower SPF. And then the can on the right was a body wash that I received a long, long time ago. And we continue with more hair products. Some of these I did like, not all of them. The bed had one in the middle. I remember it was just like too much. This is, it didn't necessarily work with my hair. Some of the L'Oreal products. The one in the middle between the one that's next to the bed had one. That one I did kind of like. The other one was a little bit greasy for my hair. And the hair mask was something I've used once or twice. But I never went back to it because I just forgot. But it was there for a long, long time. So it just has to go back. It has to go out. And then here we have a variety of products from ColourPop concealers to Smashbox primers and a little bit of everything in between. So with the ColourPop concealers, I did use them for a bit. After a while, they start expiring and then the applicators broke. The glue from Ioni Lashes, those tend to dry out very quickly, so I go through them very quick. Smashbox primers, I did used to love the green one because it was for acne, but they don't make that anymore. We have some sugar bear hair vitamins and a little bit of samplers in between. I've used them, some of them, not all of them. I do not like the lip scrub from Ulta Beauty, so I would just leave it at that. So moving on, here are different face products skincare products the proactive wipes i tried using them once or twice i never went back to them i forgot i just honestly did the yes to mask i bought that before the pandemic i tried using it a couple times it wasn't my favorite because i feel like it didn't work and the applicator kept breaking off the mellow milk from forfray as much as i love forfray products it did not work on my skin because i felt like it was a little bit irritating pond's face cream was something i did like when i was younger it doesn't work that well for me anymore so it just feels a little bit greasy sometimes. But here are a couple other products like samplers, lash glue again, the Clinique toners. That feels a little bit too much on my skin. Also, it irritates it. And then I also have the sample of the, um, the tanners. There we go. But yeah, it's just a couple of other stuff that is just going away because like, I just stopped using them and that was it. So these two next products may seem like a blast from the past because they are fragrance bottles from JLo and then the one on the left, which is the Mariah Carey, the OG Mariah Carey fragrance. I used to love, love, love that fragrance to the point where I bought so many. And I remember the lotions that came with it. I absolutely loved it. The JLo one was a gift. I completely have forgot that I had it still, the bottle apparently, but I found it, but I'm not gonna hold on to it anymore. So it's just gonna go out. So this came with a Denise Bruce fragrance like a while ago. It's like supposed to be body oil, but it just feels too... I don't want to say too oily because I say it's oil, but it's... I didn't like it. And then I got this Shea Moisture Gel Cream. You know, it's purple rice water. And it's gel. I thought I was going to like it. And thought of it as a cheap alternative to Tatcha's um, rice water face cream but it didn't do the same thing and I think texture wise I didn't like it and I had, I had high hopes for this when I first bought it but it just been there sitting unused ever since I tried it and didn't like it so I'm just gonna get rid of it so I decided to do the decluttering because like I said earlier it's just too much to have around and there's so much stuff that's old 
that has expired. So why am I going to keep it? Especially stuff that's been with me for a while. Like, like the biggest example is the glow recipe spray that I have here. Like, obviously you can see that I only have a little bit left from what I did use, but it looks expired. I don't know if you could see it there. Like, it doesn't look like the way it used to. And plus, these are discontinued now. But that's not the point of this one. This one's just been sitting in the drawers for a while, mixing with old, old and new. So it's time to get rid of all the stuff that's not good, ex especially expired, because you don't want to be putting this on your face and then have like a reaction and breaking out. Yes, I do have some breakouts, but not because I'm using this. No, I am not using this on my face. I haven't used it on my face in a while, and I mean a while. So it's going out, that and a couple other stuff. But it's time to make room for a lot of the new stuff I've been buying and using. Apart, like I know I've been doing the empty videos and showing you what I have been using. So I definitely have improved on trying to use my products rather than having it pile and pile and pile up but at the same time it's good to get rid of what isn't good anymore and I've definitely been trying to do a little bit of spring cleaning not just in taking out old makeup hair products and stuff like beauty products that I don't use anymore but I've also been trying to clean out my closet in sense of like getting rid of old clothes that don't fit me anymore clothes that have pretty much been torn apart so it's it's time to declutter all that stuff but i hope you beauties kind of like this little taste of the decluttering process the cleanup process and hopefully getting into better habits this time around i know i've been using a lot more stuff and getting rid of stuff that isn't good anymore or expired is a great 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 step forward especially for me that i have piled up so much stuff over the years with makeup and skincare the list goes on and on but I hope you beauties kind of enjoyed this video I have a whole lot of different stuff that I'm working on right now not just for this YouTube channel but on TikTok there's a lot more tick uh, short videos that I do on TikTok if you haven't seen them make sure you look up Chrissy's video room and then I'm also on Instagram as Chrissy's video room so make sure you follow up there I try to switch things up all around but if you want to see something, let me know in the comments and then I'll be seeing you beauties real soon. Bye beauties!